Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab and then in the launch option type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can this time you can type in dash DX12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now i'm not using any third party antivirus i'm using windows security so if you're using windows security open windows settings then go to privacy and security in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage the ransomware protection now click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will see the game folder. So open the game folder. And then first of all open the game folder over here. Select this exe file and then click on open. Again click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. This time open Delta Force folder, binaries, Win64 and then select this exe file and then click on open again click on add and allow app browse all apps and then go back and then open this launcher and select both the exe file over here add and allow app browse all apps and then select this click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now select the open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then click on add once it is added click on allow another app once again browse and then sorry open the game folder and we have already added this one now open delta force binaries win64 and then scroll down select this exe file click on open now click on add now once the game is added again click on allow another app click on browse and then go back and then this time open this launcher folder select both the exe file in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select the second exe file click on open click on add once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to is to run the game as an administrator and then now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and this will op now open the game folder make a right click on delta force client and then select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then go to steam and then launch the game if that does not work make a right click once again select properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game from steam if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game from steam if it's still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game and then check still not working in that case open delta force folder binaries win64 do the same thing over here so select the game exe file make a right click select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game from steam if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 
and then hit apply click on ok if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game again put a check on disable full, full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right tick select properties and then uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall anti-cheat expert and then launch the game and during the launch it will reinstall anti-cheat expert now for this make a right click on the game once again manage browse local files and then open game folder now open delta force folder now open binaries win64 here you can see anti-cheat export folder open this now over here you will see ace setup 64 make a double click and then click on yes to allow and here you can see this will uninstall anti-cheat export continue do not uninstall on game running or may lose connection so click on yes and once it is uninstalled you will see a prompt which says uninstall completed now you can launch the game now when you launch the game during the launch it will actually reinstall anti-cheat export so now click on launch So over here right now it's actually installing anti-cheat expert and once this is done now you can you should be able to run the game. So let me close the game for now. Now it's still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game fi files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's ge force experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now select the exe file open game select delta force client click on add and then click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open this delta force binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then go back and then open the launcher folder select the first exe file over here click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then select the second exe file click on add and then click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided 
in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and x64. So you have to download both the files x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download the x64 file. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. And then again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So once you see restart over here, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. So this is important. Do not ignore this. So go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then you restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have like hotas pedals wheels any kind of external usb adapter usb dongle connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect it sometimes we have an extra controller connected to the computer disconnected now if you have any kind of virtual controller in vjoy etc in that case you can disable it or uninstall it and then launch the game also disable steam overlay now for this make a right on the game select properties go to the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off and then check if you have discord running turn off overlay in discord if you have geforce experience running turn off overlay in geforce experience so all, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the 
overclocking application like if you have msi after one or reward tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this will be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all click on apply click on ok and then you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game now if nothing is working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check now if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel